Welcome back and now in sports. The Solomon Islands Basketball Federation secured sponsors for the 2024 Men's and Women's Open Leagues at their launch in Honiara. President William Lai expressed gratitude for the support and team interest. Martin Taromani reports. Um, good evening, everybody. President for the Solomon Islands Basketball Federation, SIBF, William Lai says his executive will work hard with support from the corporate and individual sponsors to rebuild basketball's popularity in the country. Speaking during the Federation's corporate dinner on Saturday to officially launch the 2024 Senior Basketball League season, President Lai said despite a lack of funding, his executive is not worried and will continue to raise the funds themselves to push the Federation's programs. It's functioning and come for several two purposes. One is for you meet, you meet raising funds to ensure basketball by getting funds to, to do more the, uh, uh, programs from Fala. Because uh, basketball, there is no grant from whatever organization, so we need to raise the fund ourselves in order to uh, grow the game. But executive me, Mifa, Mifa no worry. We have pushed forward our programs, everything, because we love basketball. The launching is to say that uh, for the last few years, there's kind of ad hoc things in basketball for, for various reasons. I don't know, probably I know a bit, but for, but since me, Mifa take over, Basketball as an executive, we feel that Yumi must continue conti have a continuous uh, program for basketball, and and one of them is to run the leagues. When we have the leagues and in progress, everything by flow with them with them here. So the popularity is 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 will grow. Surely basketball will grow for improve them everything by Mosem. It's a very pleasant thing, yeah? From nowhere for the last few years, and Mosem on and off, but we now having so many interests in, in people who want to play basketball. And that one of me bar our Mosem happy to us, yeah? Mosem, whatever effort we put in basketball, have no wasted. And I mean like, thank you all the club officials, everybody, for for you may work together and bye bye you may grow the sport for the next four years and beyond. Solomon Power Corporate Services General Manager Droman Rupert and Solomon Islands Cable Submarine Company Rep Patrick Olofia said they are happy to support the Federation with their program, adding this is part of the company's nation building program. On behalf of Solomon Power, we are wishing you all the best for running the league and also to the teams that will be part, uh, participating, uh, we also wish me uh, all the best yeah, and may the best team win. We are honored to support this event and we are looking forward to seeing the talents and passion that will make this league truly special. Solomon Sovereign Cable is committed to supporting the growth, of the, the growth and development of sport in the Solomon Islands. We believe that such support boosts delivery of sport events and will go a long way to empower sports men and women to become the best version of themselves and role model to others in the wider sporting community. By investing in sports, we aim to aspire young athletes to strive for excellence, foster teamwork, and promote friendship and unity through sports. Our partnership with these initiatives reflects our dedication to driving positive change and creating a brighter future for all. Together, let us celebrate unite and advance basketball to new heights. We wish SIBF and all the teams all the best and enjoy the games. A total of 29 Honero based clubs, meanwhile, are confirmed to compete in the 2024 Honero Basketball League senior competitions. Eight teams are confirmed for the men's A division, while 12 teams are confirmed for the men's B divisions. For the women's basketball division competition, nine teams are confirmed to compete for the top prizes. Martin Taromane, Tavoli Sports. The 2024 Olympics began with a colorful opening ceremony. 
The Solomon Islands participated with a boat in the Seine River Parade. Representing the country are 16-year-old swimmer Isabella Miller and 30-year-old long-distance runner Sharon Ferriswa. Isabel Miller, the flag bearer, will debut in the women's 50 meters freestyle on August the 3rd, and Sharon Ferriswa, a long-distance runner, will compete in the 100 meter event on August the 2nd. And finally, in Tavoli Sports, Laogu United FC leads the 2024 TSL competition as round two concludes. Central Coast FC overtakes Solomon Warriors FC and an improved Real Kakamura FC after a nil-nil draw. Martin Taromane with more. Big changes to the Telecom Super League TSL competition table as round two of the season completes its second week of competitions over the weekend. Results from the weekend matches sees Lago United FC moving top of the competition table to lead by two points following their 2-0 win over FC Junipa on Sunday. Goal each from Atkin Kawa and Dixon Magi was enough to propel Lago United to the top of the pack with 22 points. Fighting for second spot on the table are four teams who remain tied with 20 points each. However, for now it's Central Coast FC who sits in second place after leapfrogging Solomon Warriors FC and Real Kakamura FC who played out a goalless draw on Saturday. Marist FC moves into the top five spots on the table following their 4-2 win over Kosa FC on Saturday. Warriors head coach Franco Nee said with a lot of catch-up matches still left for his team to play, it will be a challenge for them. However, stresses the key is to take one game at a time. I think we've got a we've got make some chances from Vala. At the end of the day, we settle with them draw here. Yeah? So I think I'm thinking about boys coming too for the hard work of doing. So then we fight here, yeah? and after six nil trashing Osalo last game, last weekend, that's the mentality where we have come with him. So, but that's not what football all about. Yeah? Uh, last week game we finished. Now we look forward for today's game and it's over. And not, we we'll look forward for what the next. So as we tell them, we have look for every game at a time, one game at a time. So, the Kakamura, yeah? today they're a little bit. I have a second Michal, which is good, yeah? Uh, it's good, a good test to us, it's to test us, yeah? That's the one of the problems I will face him, yeah? Our time, yeah? Game time. So, definitely we are going to hit uh, weekend, weekdays, weekend, weekdays, and months of recovery, but we will face him, too. So, I think we got him a, a squad of young players and um, senior players, yeah? Where I can use all of them, utilize him, everyone, for taking part for us so. all. Definitely by him, one of our obstacles is to kill, face every every game throughout the weekend, the weekend. Yeah? As we got five catch-up matches, which is my will rest here. But I hope my boys will recover more and we'll take one game at a time. So the part of the three for senior players, my father, got me, take great with him, take him all, yeah? Uh, yeah, we got uh, some changes where we will bring in James Liner Healy, one of the upcoming stars, under 19, where we will go for both in slow some more. And, Kennedy Watemai, one of the household names, Solomon Cup, where he must come up, and some young players where I want to come in. So, definitely, uh, Barry, Zam, Barry Limoki, one of those players where is is one of local level. Yeah? So, I think we got a good team for Technically, yes. Tactically, yes. There are a lot of things where Bavala work on So, uh, finishing part, no problem. Defensively, we are you not know, considering any goal today, which is good. Offensively, we are going to have chances and opportunity when we want to utilize him. So we'll go, uh, get back <coughs> to that uh, drawing board and work for that law next game. And the Sean Hills FC, after a fair performance in the first round of the season, also managed to register the first win in round two of the competition on Saturday after defeating Waniago United FC three goals to nil. Head coach Eddie Maruhare said he is happy with his boys' performance, but says they will have to go back and work on their finishing and positioning for their next matches. Yeah, I think uh, me happy and pleased with him, the, the, the performance blow of the boys. Yeah? I think uh, lucky that we have got him a long break and won him second game after this whole break. And we happy that what the boys, especially the first half, 
uh, really played well and uh, according to how we felt like it, the team had played. Though we first scored him uh, three goals today, meeting that uh, if we felt a bit more uh, composed again, composed all up front, because yeah, I think in terms of uh, attacking, yeah, position and, uh, and finishing now, we really need four of more. Uh, mm. Only one change, no, we felt we had the Mohala goalkeeper, but the uh, rest of the team, eh, mostly every uh, same place no, from round one. It's, I think the good thing is all of them are young and potential players, so I'm good for working with young players and start building them out. TSL Competitions Manager Ashley Vidma, meanwhile, also confirmed a lot of catch-up matches are still left to be played from round one, saying catch-up matches are scheduled to take place on Wednesdays at the Los Intama Stadium. We got them for Solomon Juarez, got them uh, four catch-up matches. Uh, Central Coast also got them about four catch-up matches. And uh, the end of round uh, one, which is round uh, 11, uh, every team's got them catch-up matches. Then we have to see if uh, those catch-up matches, low midweek, low Wednesdays. But uh, we will finalize the final fixture by out next week and uh, also the catch up matches fixtures by out also next week for every club so it's have a what time now by what a play what our catch up matches we're going to stop it we're going to have exactly which date now by catch up matches by having played but uh, we will do it on the Wednesdays at the moment we have no, no team in the standard date it catch up matches we have by just because uh, under 18 or still out by using filter, so we'll see which day now by fall doing catch up match so that uh, him go in line to with him fixes by under 18 and uh, also by me fall try for put him low days where when we look him oh, there's a window here for me play catch up match. Martin Taramane for Tavoli Sports. And that's news on Tavoli News for today. Before I go, just a reminder that a strong wind warning remains in effect for most waters of the country. A trough lies north of the islands, whilst southwest trade winds persist over the country. Southeast winds are expected to reach up to 25 knots, causing moderate to rough seas and moderate southerly swells up to 3.0 metres. Poor visibility is expected in showers and thunderstorm areas. Residents and sea travellers are advised to take precautionary measures due to the potential impact on the lives and property. Small boats are particularly at risk from dangerous wave conditions. I'm Ursula Nongabatu. Thanks for watching.